Good morning, hi, I'm Darlene, and welcome back to Super at 60. It's early, it's early morning. It's about 6.30 in the morning. It's most unusual for me to be up this early, but well, sometimes I'm up, I'm just not very awake, and the last thing you'll catch me doing is being on camera. First things first, I always start my day out with a nice ice cold glass of water. I know that might sound crazy to some of you coffee and tea lovers, but water is something that just kind of gets everything inside of me going. You know, I can wake up when that uh, cold, cold water just hits my mouth and goes down my throat and it just feels good. And I know that water is very healthy. So I always start with that. And make sure you have a pretty class too, because <laughs> Could it be? And make sure it's something you can grab on the run too, because I like to just stash them in my purse sometimes and take off for my day. The next thing that I just have to have is my cup of coffee. I do, I do enjoy a cup or two of coffee in this in the in the mornings. Uh, I usually have a French vanilla and I follow it with a French vanilla creamer, which is just a very delicious um, combination. I just love them. Just, it just really it makes me happy. The next thing that makes me happy is to fill up my little back of the stove potpourri. That little copper pot in the back of my stove brings me so much joy. The last uh, few weeks, I've just been sprinkling some cloves over the top. That is a fantastic combination. It smells so yummy. And then right next door, my favorite candle of all time is this beautiful pecan candle. It's so pretty. Not only is it does it smell just divine, and it's a great combination with the clove, um, little potpourri pot next door, but the amber of the glass, even that kind of stuff, that just brings me joy. When I look over at that little corner of my kitchen and I see those two little things, sometimes it just brings a little smile to my face. And then there's the smack of reality. Yeah, right in the face. Get rid of those dishes from the night before. Mm -hmm, they're clean. Thank you, Lou. And uh, But they are a little wet. They need to be dried off and they need to be put away so that the counter is all ready to encounter <laughs> whatever it is that I'm going to bring today. And uh, the, the next thing that I like to do, and this is where I spend the bulk of my morning, is doing my Bible study, my worship time. I have my markers out, my highlighters out, my pens. Uh, my notebooks, and then my Heart Sisters book. I have been reading that. Um, I wasn't sure I was gonna like it at first, but I'm actually now reading it through for the second time, and I'm finding some really gold gems in there. Uh, if you need a good book, try this one. All right, now that I have all that important early, early morning stuff done out of the way, I'm ready to go. And what I'm starting on today is a ham and potato soup. A super, super, really, really easy soup that is so packed with so much delicious flavor. In fact, I made this soup not too terribly long ago and um, it went over so well that my husband asked me if I would please make it again. Well, I didn't have any more ham left. I didn't have another ham bone left. So we went out the other day to Lidl's and we found some hams that they had on sale. They were 49 cents a pound, 49 cents a pound. We came home with $5 hams. They were $5. So with that ham, I took it out of the wrapping. You know, they're already cooked, so you don't have to put it in a crock pot or put it in the oven. You don't have to do anything. So all I did was I dab a cookie sheet out. I put a bunch of aluminum foil down so that I was all done. I could just, you know, pack it up and put it in the trash can. I sliced up that ham as best I could, as thinly as I could. Uh, my husband takes a sandwich with him every single day to work. He doesn't care if it's turkey or ham. Um, so where else can you get ham for 49 cents a pound? You can't get it at the deli, not even close. So here's what I got. Um, and he's even dipped into some of this. So this is, this is my big container here, if you can see that. Let me just put that right there. Mm -hmm, there you go. And it was filled right up to the top. Now he's had about two or three days worth of dipping in here already for to make sa sandwiches and stuff. And I haven't used any of it for a meal yet. Um, but it's huge. And it's, this, this container is heavy. You know, I mean, uh, it's good. It's a good size container of lots and lots of ham meat. You can just see it in there. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. And then in this bag, what I had left over, and this is a heavy bag too. This is the bone. I always go the wrong size. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> you think I'd get this right after like, what, two and a half years? 
Um, this is the bone bag, and you can see, you know, where I cut off as much of the uh, fat from the ham as possible. And I'm going to try two things this morning. Well, definitely I'm going to start my ham bone soup with this, with the stock and everything. Um, but the pieces of fat that I cut off here, the, the clear, clear um, pieces of fat like that. See how white that is? And let's see if I can find another little piece of it. Here's a good piece to show you right here. Right there. That is just pure ham fat. I'm wondering, do you think if I took my little um, crock pot, you know, the little tiny, the baby crock pots, and if I got as much of the white fat off as possible, put it on low in my crock pot, if I could render that fat down to lard, can I do that? I mean, I shouldn't be asking you guys. I should be telling you guys. <laughs> but you're my friends. You're my friends, and you'll know this stuff. I know some of you. You'll know it. So anyway. There we go. We want it to stay nice and secure while we're chopping up. I got this new beautiful bowl over the uh, the past weekend. We went to an antique store, found a couple of really sweet things, but I just love this bowl. and throw my big bag of um, leftover scraps from the ham bone, from the whole ham, actually. The ham bone is in there. Here it is right here. You can see it right there. It's still got a lot of meat on there and that's all gonna fall off during this cooking time. All right, I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon of chopped garlic, a little bit of onion powder. Even though I have onion in here, uh, onion powder has a whole different flavor, I think. Uh, it's good. And some garlic, a little bit more garlic powder. And I have a few bay leaves here. Let's toss in. I always put bay leaves in soups and stocks and whatnot in twos. has been going for about eh, three and a half hours. This is my lard to be. <laughs> it's really changed color. I did turn it up too high. It smells wonderful, like ham. <laughs> but I don't think it's ready. I think this is going to be, I think this is going to have to go a lot longer. I, I do. I just, I'm going to let it go as long as I can tonight. And I'll check on it again and see what it does. Okay. All right, my soup has been on the stovetop for about, let's say three, three and a half hours. A good three and a half hours. The last 45 minutes, I cranked it up just a little bit just to make sure. And, you know, sure enough, the bones are looking pretty dry. And that means that all the, the good stuff that you want from those bones, that collagen, um, is just seeping out of the bones and into that beautiful broth that we've made. That's what gives it that gelatinous, uh, jello kind of feel. Um, when your soups get that way, when your stocks get that way, uh, that, that's when you know you've gone long enough. All right, this looks just beautiful. Um, I have my other bowl over here, my older bowl that I showed you earlier. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and take out the bones and whatever else comes out of there. But um, you'll see that a lot of meat can still be picked off there, and will be. Um, and I'll go ahead and throw, throw all the rest of those vegetables back in here as well. All right, yeah, look at that. Oh, look at the bone. Yep, that meat is just ready to fall right off. It does have to cool just a little bit, obviously, because it's really, really hot. And um, I just want to go through and make sure I have all the excessive fat out and every single last bone. All right, everything is looking just beautiful. Absolutely delicious and smells so good in here. Um, while the meat and the bones and all that stuff that I just took out of the stock is cooling down, I'm going to go ahead and peel and chop up my potatoes and chop them small, kind of like you did with the veggies, just so that they cook fast, you know, and you get to your dinner faster. And I'm gonna start a little bit of that butter and flour roux. 
and we'll be able to put that into our stock and it'll be nice and thick soup and then all the veggies all the meat all the potatoes everybody back in the pool and we have dinner roux are really quick it is there's no big trick to roux two approximately two tablespoons of a butter a fat of some kind and the same amount of flour when it starts to smell like a pie crust is baking then you know that you have uh, cooked off the flour you don't want to add raw flour and you want it to get nice and brown it'll just take a few minutes all right and the next thing I'm gonna do right now I just took out a little bit of that beautiful golden stock right next door that we made our soup in and I'm gonna go ahead and pour that right in Okay. All right, here we go. In goes our roux, just like that. Do it very carefully and just give it a really good stir. And as it sits here and the water comes, the, the uh, broth here comes up to a boil with those potatoes in it. I don't think I have that quite high enough. Let me turn it up just a little bit. And uh, that's gonna be beautiful. And I think I'm gonna, I am gonna go ahead and add in um, the meat and all those delicious vegetables. Micah came over, he's gonna spend the evening with Lou and I, and we are so excited. Oh my, oh look at our little Micah. Yes, I know, you're saying hi to everybody. Can you say hi? 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 Oh yes, that's Oma's camera. Well, I gotta tell you, the soup is fantastic. Absolutely delicious, as good as it looks, that's how good it tastes. It is absolutely perfect, the flavorings, the seasonings. Next time you buy a ham, use every single drop of it down to the bare, bare dry bones. Then you know you have gotten every cent of your money's worth. And our ham was 49 cents a pound. So I'd say, <laughs> and that was a huge pot of soup I made, plus that great big container of ham that I showed you earlier in the video. So yeah, we got our money's worth out of that, didn't we? Huh, huh, Micah? All right, well, I'm gonna say goodbye and I will see you guys real soon. Can you wait bye-bye? Say what? Bye-bye. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye now. Lord bless.